this example, we're going to create some text that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to engrave this text onto a material. As usual, we'll select the size of the uh, workpiece that we're going to be working with. As you know, the bottom left is the starting point in the file. Say OK. And we get ready to put text on it. So we select the plot function. We go to our text tool, call it row. And here we can select a font. So I'll be using a standard single line engraving font. We can adjust the height. Let's make it 15 millimeters high. And we can adjust various characters of this uh, font that we're using. Character separation is always a good one to know. Let's write something. Um, screw cam space D. Now we can grab it and place it squarely in the material where we're going to be working. In order to be able to run this engraving, we're going to need to change the text to a graphic. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the character separation. We can make it wider if we go five, or we push the lettering quite wide apart. If we go zero. Letters quite close together, so we can adjust quite a lot of things that we want to do with the actual text that we're going to be milling. Let's use 2.5 for default, make it all nice and clear. And now, what we want to do is we want to go to Operate Row and change the text to a graphic. Select Text to Graphic, a little pink box comes up around that text that we're going to be changing. We can retain the text or we can delete the text in this case, I'm going to delete it, and then we say start. And if we go back to the CAD function, we can now use the marking tool, and we can select the entire text, or we can manipulate each piece individually. Okay, let's have a look see. Grab the whole lot, no marking tool, grab the whole lot, place it in the position where we wish to have it. And now we can set up a tool to engrave the text. So we go to the tool input. We select the type. We're going to use an engraving bit. And tip radius in this case will be 0 0.2 millimeter, uh, 0.1 millimeter. That's a two, 0 0.2 millimeter uh, total width of the cutter. 20 degree angle, there's no sphere, so we leave that alone. We're going to be going down to 0 0.2 millimeter depth. And let's put a little bit of extra clearance height there just to allow ourselves room for error when we're lifting out of the material. And all of the others we're going to leave the same. We say OK. And now we can export it for milling. So we can direct milling auto. We're going to export only the layer with the dot on zero which is fine click export and if we open the CSC we can see that the object is ready for engraving so all we need to do now is once again set up the tool speed the measure will be zero we've got a 0 0.2 millimeter depth and origin of coordinates is bottom left which is great Everything is okay, and we're ready to start. And there we go.